It is first period. Good morning, children, said their math teacher cheerfully. Because of how proud I am with your, some of your scores last week, I made my favorite sixth grade prodigies, some marshmallow squares. Now I want you to all finish your tests, and when everyone is done, you'll all get your treats. The sixth graders haven't had their marshmallow treats before. We're excited to try another batch. They all rushed and finished their tests, with exactly 31 minutes left in class. The teacher passed out the marshmallow squares, and with delight, they devoured them quickly. The first reaction to the poison triggered in one minute, 12 seconds after consumption. One by one, as if domino effect, each student fell under the influence of poison. They retched violently, eyes watering, but the poison's effects continued. They soon lost feeling in their feet and fingers, and lost control of their facial muscles. They lost their hearing, their eyesight soon went after, their throats practically sealed shut, with the numbness spread to their arms and legs. One by one, they collapsed onto their own vomit, twitching with no control of any of their muscle. Three minutes, 17 seconds, they were all dead. She wiped up with her sick and collected to the bodies into the garbage bags. She then took them to the dumpster outside and went into her classroom again with air fresheners. She sprayed the cheap acerol scent around the classroom, smothering the scent of death with vanilla lavender, 23 minutes and 2 seconds. She had almost exactly 3 minutes and 30 seconds until her second period class came in. She changed out of her vomit-smeared shirt, sprayed it with air freshener, and hid it under her desk. She sanitized her hands and waited for the next class. In second period. Yet. Yet it is. Hello, children. Seeing last week's test scores, I must say I am proud of you all. For after your test, I made you all marshmallow squares.